Okay. Now, now I'm getting into a fighting spirit mood. <laughs> I need to get good positions out of the openings. I think to have a chance. Um, maybe not too many weaknesses. Uh, from the opening, maybe something solid against the GMs. I'm not. It's really aggressive though. Um, well, I could just. We could study some more uh, Grandmaster games. <laughs> yeah, in the hope uh, some of that rubs off. Uh, so what's happening here? Ah, oh, let's have a look at this for a moment. Okay, got a game. Now I've got two games. Okay. Uh, close that. Uh, and the info window. Uh, just untick for a moment. Stop following the show. There's <clears throat> uh, no in between today. It's either GMs or um, people are rated. Not many in between us. Does he know the theory of knight a4? That would be a bit worrying if he does, this piece sack. Oh dear. <laughs> um, yeah, that's interesting. Try and stop my opponent casting. Is that any good? So I can cast and play F6, I hope. <clears throat> Some play f6 doesn't seem to be that relevant, but maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, knight c6 could be a dangerous threat. Or knight b3 is trying to win my queen. Knight b3 does queen a4, just about. Ah, this pawn on d4 is not looking too too hot. Okay, so what about bishop b7? Just trying to develop. Rook d8 after. Uh, so can I play f takes soon? Or am I going to be in big trouble? Queen c3, there might be rook d3, that pin. Uh, or Queen C5 just to stop casting, maybe. Or Queen E3. Uh, <clears throat> so Rook C1, Queen E3. Aha! Uh -huh. The move I missed. What about, I don't know, A5? Bishop a6 here, or even queen b5 check of the rook. Queen b5 check. So bishop a6 looks dangerous. Um, it's bishop c4. 
So what about leaving two pieces attacked with uh, 27? So knight moves, I'll take the bishop. Bishop moves, I'll take the knight. Still play bishop a6 check after. Oh. Okay. Um. Alright, two pieces of the rook then. So it's bishop a6 or queen, queen g4 looks dangerous here. And you might play ef first. Okay. Well, rook, rook d3 now looks a bit dangerous for queen g4. Maybe e3, then rook d2. Pack pro is not totally weak at the moment. Uh, Rook d2 and bishop g2 of king f1 looks dangerous. That's also, um, hmm, maybe just e3 here. Uh, or we'll just rook d2 actually, rook d2 and rook g2 look really dangerous. <coughs> So what's this guy been up to? It's been up to two two one eight at some point on the five minute auto parry. Um can't play just check and then D one. Still no bat room mate. And yeah. Or I don't know if there's anything else. Uh, G five check just to give my king some air first. I hope that's not a fatal idea. Maybe Queen will check so we're losing the bishop of King H5. Unless the King's going to help make, make me a perpetual check here. <clears throat> okay, so a few checks there. And Queen F4. Okay, it's queen c4, queen c6 potentially. Okay, my king can escape, but I'd rather do this, I think. Try and win that e5 pawn. Before that becomes a killer pawn. Uh, right. So, my king's still. Uh, in difficulties. So what about a4? Not treating the other game too lightly. Uh, but it looks pretty promising. Uh, okay, so queen d4 here. Try and win um, and restrict the king. At the very least, to win a3. And a3. Play queen b3 next. Drag the pawn. It's resigned here. Oh, he's going back. And I'll stop the video. Okay, he's going back. Uh, and this is anything of interest? So here is why I played a5, I believe. It's certainly a assiduous going over the um, game.
Yeah, I think that's um, the right move. Stop casting. I'll draw with him knight b2. Mm, knight b2. <clears throat> what she can't do in a row. Can't do in a row. Alright. Alright, uh, comments or questions on, on YouTube. Thanks so much.